Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. <laughs> and if I got me, my movie maniacs out there, I've got one for you. It's Axe Giant, The Wrath of Paul Bunyan. Yes, <laughs> independent cinema. It's out on video on Netflix, I think, or uh, yeah, uh, it's out on Netflix. And this this film tells us the story of it's a twisted tale on Paul Bunyan. You get a different variation of the legend than what we expect. Paul Bunyan is still a giant, but uh, he has an axe to grind and doesn't like people in his woods. Well, when there's a group of delinquent teenagers who are part of this reform uh, go out to camp for a week, group versus jail time, uh, so these group of teenagers opt for the camp, and they go out with this hard-nosed sergeant, uh, Hoke, who goes out to the campsite and is going to reform them by teaching them the ways of the wilderness. <laughs> well, when one of them disturbs the uh, the shrine to Babe the Blue Ox that Paul Bunyan had, he's got an axe to grind with them, literally, and he decides to chop things other than wood. Wow! Let me tell you, the concept of this, apparently no folklore or myth is uh, immune to the horror genre, and now we've uh, uh, got Paul Bunyan as a <laughs> axe murderer. Literally, he's got this huge axe. It's actually quite impressive. What's also impressive is how they did the special effects with such a low budget. They do uh, really well, fairly well. Okay, they do all right with blending the giant, uh, you know, who's obviously against a green screen type thing with, within real life. They do a fairly good job of mixing that. Now, what's also CGI is most of the gore, which was a little disappointing. I would have really liked to see more practical gore, but that's my own taste. I really enjoy practical effects over CGI, and especially in lower budget films. So that was a little bit of disappointment with the CGI blood net. But there is still plenty of gore, just most of it is computer generated as a warning. But you still get your fill of grotesque scenes. There are some great practical effects when they are used in here, in, including one person chopped in half, which I really enjoyed and just wish what if I, I could have got to see more of them. Uh, you, you've got Joe Estevez in here, probably the hardest working man in independent cinema. We saw him in Little Creeps, we've seen him in Dr. Spine. He's in all kinds of independent in films. Very talented individual and again he brings that talent to the axe giant and you can, it shows, okay? He's one of the high points in this film as Meeks, this crazy guy who lives in the woods who knows the true story of Paul Bunyan and is trying to, you know, protect not only Paul Bunyan but people in the woods from, from getting, you know, be falling victim to Paul Bunyan's axe. So I really liked his Meeks character and it was fun to see him on screen. Also in here is Grizzly Adams. Look for Dan Haggerty in here as Foreman Bill and he brings the some decent acting experience as well. The younger cast who make up the group of uh, delinquents in here do fairly well. Uh, you know, their characters are kind of, you know, again, sort of breakfast club-ish. You know, you got the geek geek crook. You've got the, uh, you know, hard-nosed crook. you got a couple of the, the attractive female crooks in here of various degrees of of, uh, you know, things they've done wrong, okay? And it does have some heart in some spots in this script. I did enjoy it, though it is a low-budget fair, and getting past the CGI grower was tough for me, okay? But performances in here are fairly well. For the subject that it was, you're not expecting a whole lot, okay? And I did find it entertaining, especially as it got near the climax of the film. If you like low-grade uh, independent films, if you like stuff from the Asylum, then Axe Giant, The Wrath of Paul Bunyan is for you. If you're looking for something a little more deep, a little more uh, serious, a little uh, more, uh, <laughs> I don't know, well put together for independent cinema, you may want to avoid this. Otherwise, if you're just looking for kind of an interesting, fun, good time and a, uh, a <laughs> gory twist on the Paul Bunyan uh, legend, then you'll want to check out uh, Axe Giant. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stop.